It'd be great if we could catch Sucrose and Albedo, too. But they seem really busy lately, so let's not get our hopes up. Anyway, let's go see! Oh, there's Albedo. Hey, Tomate! Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? And why does he look so serious? Hey, man, I'm right here! We going! Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you yep. having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Uh, so we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered to him! What's with Paimon's uh, vocabularies lately in this new update? It's going a little more slangish. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, mm -hmm. he wasn't looking his usual self. Upset? Uh-oh, I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Tamaeus' research topic is... is so boring that Albedo finally oh. stopped. Really? Surely not. Someone's it's not that boring. Someone is lose it? their stuff because it's so boring? <laughs> A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon found a bunch of super duper sweet sincerias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone. So Paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, oh. they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Do you realize how absurd you sound right now, Paimon? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Or it already Can't exists. Do it. Or it already exists somewhere. <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. Oh, weird. You're the weirdo, Paimon. <sighs> okay. So how about you, Sucrose? Any idea? Yeah. I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but I'd probably just what? end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. You just need a blender. Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Huh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. Mm -hmm. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Mm. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative. But it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There's right. a big difference between the two. Right. Sorry, I just don't know what has gotten into Paimon today. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy. Okay, this is where we need Rosaria to calm down Paimon. In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Oh. Of course, we know better now. Mm -hmm. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve uh -huh. it indefinitely. Uh, mm. uh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. Oh, no. Don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. <laughs> Paimon just wanted some fruit juice! What's wrong with that? You just need a blender. Go, <laughs> go buy one. It's easy. It's cheap, man. Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. 
But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Uh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. But there's something about Albedo today. Something seems different. What could it be? Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And hmm. somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Yeah, I noticed that. We're always talking so long in Dragonspine. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him. Come on, there's no time to lose. Paimon always does this, man. I know there's no time to lose. We have like four days to complete this quest. Dragons. Oh. Oh, it's you. Over here. Over here. It's Sarah Sarah. from the Good Hunter. Uh. Wow. Amber. Looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look. Let's take this. Hey, Traveler and Paimon. Fancy meeting you all the way out here. Amber! I miss Amber. Amber? Cyrus? Pallet? What's everyone doing at Dragonspine? Don't you mind the cold? Hi, long time no see. The Traveler is joining us too. Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more, um, the merrier. I'll remember him later on. I don't remember him right now. I agree. I feel much better with the Traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. They're probably the people I helped out doing in the village near Mondstadt, right? Sorry, what have I... Wait, wait no. What's the occasion? Yeah! Then again, it seems a certain Outrider is doing too! Amber! <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurer's Guild is holding winter training on Dragonspine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragonspine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. So you're gonna challenge each other. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragonspine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this Man. grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan! Why are you talking so much? You should be Amber! Hey. You are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. You weren't even in the trailer. Why are you talking so much, man? You stole you're stealing Amber's air airtime. Amber, what are you doing here? Okay, this should be Amber. Is the adventurers killed short on experienced members? Come on, Paimon! Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. That's Amber for you! But Joel's father- I remember that kid. I know. Joel's father went missing. Yeah, it's still in my world quest thing. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragonspine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Yeah. Aw, Amber. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up. So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys ah, doing. That's why you were in the trailer building a snowman. I didn't know the kid was Joel, though. I gotta rewatch the trailer again. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Since it's you, Amber, count me Aw, really? Thank you. Oh! Yeah, Amber. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should Ooh. be here any second. She'll she? be perfect for this kind of thing. Ooh. I mean, I've seen in the trailer, 
I forgot the name. Hey, Cyrus, on you. we've got to take off. Is that okay? Bye, Cyrus. No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Stop talking! Damn, spit off! You're so annoying, man! Like. Okay, next. Talk to Lonely Joel. Is this the same spot? It's weird now that I'm with Amber. I shouldn't be Amber. I should be Shangling. We're here! Amber! It's been a long time, Joel. Hey, everyone! <laughs> I'm so happy right now! It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Wait, who's y Eula? Build a Eula? snowman. I've never met her in the quest before. Eula. Is that how you say her name? Member of the Lawrence clan by birth. The Lawrence clan oppressive rule plunge Mondstadt into one of the darkest periods of history. Today, they have since fallen from grace by their present day descendants. Still find themselves held in contempt by the body for fun. Hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Reconnaissance company and also a captain? Wow. Eula. Amber, cool. you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. Alright. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. Whoa. Eula just let something go for once? Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was short-handed. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Oh, Amber. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> oh. Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Amber has this thing that, like, you know, she finds people that are finding missing people. Like, like, Ether. She's, she's missing. His sister's missing and she's helping him out. And then now, Joel and his father. Yep, yep. I just want to hang out with Amber. Auntie Let's Eula, go. Are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd Eula. be delighted to join you. Eula, isn't she just basically a female Kaya? Her hair, she got the similar hair. She's also cryo, and it's also blue. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. I get hype. I get so hyped up whenever I see Amber. I get excited. I don't know why. I mean, if I started streaming and uploading my gameplays from the beginning, you'd have seen me hype Amber so many times. But yeah. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Come on, Amber. Why? Hey, Joel. See that huge tree over there? Wanna race me there? I mean, she is a good. She's good with kids too, with her, with her attitude and her character. Yeah, let's do it. Oh man, she left us. Wow, those two are fast. It's hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Yeah. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? Um, well... <clears throat> There's no one else around, you can say. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me, and he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Aww. Right! That's why he 
calls you Auntie Eula. I guess she feels normal for once, huh? True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. Yup. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Then it's time to get building a snowman. So there's something else bothering you? <laughs> How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? No, I was looking <laughs> you at Amber. You shouldn't be getting off lightly for that. Uh oh. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman. Oh, before. come on, man. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. I understand. I've never built a snowman myself. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Oh, no. I'm starting to feel sorry for you. Oh, what? Don't worry about it. The honorary knight will help you. You sound confident. <laughs> All right, then. Did, did, have I met Yula in the previous stories? I can't remember. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Greetings. We have a slight <laughs> problem here. We've done a head count and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. Huh. Really? How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. I haven't met Fischl either, so... Thank goodness you are here. <laughs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm Gerald. a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... <sighs> Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Pay for what? You're in safe hands with Eula. Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Bye. No problem. Bye. Just stop talking. Why did you give the spot to Eula? I want people to know all the good qualities she has. Oh, okay! <laughs> You're so nice! Paima noticed you a smile just now. It must have meant a lot to her. Now, I just wanted to spend more time with Amber. To be basically. honest, you really <laughs> is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her! Oh! Now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got you involved in the first place. Smart Amber. That's my Amber. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now you is busy with other stuff, and uh, Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Yeah, finally with Amber. Seriously? I'm uh I'm on fire. This guy just keeps spawning every time. We're almost there. Come on man. I'm just avoiding them because I don't want to have unnecessary fight and it'll drag on the the, the time. Race you. We made oh uh, I have to offer the stuff. Didn't they say they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? Uh oh. Did we get here too late? If they move on already, did you hear that? Uh, could they be in danger? Okay. Hurry, let's go check it out. Wait, I gotta offer my stuff. Huh. 
man, I need two more. I mean, three more. That sound is scary, though. Sounds like bone cracking, but or maybe woods. Are we gonna go in here? Wait, since I saw the the red thingy, I might as well take it, right? Wasn't it here? The tree is the tree. Up, oh, it's not that. Oh, there. Can you climb this part though? Yeah, you can. It's Shangling, baby. I gotta hurry. Let me just blow them all over. Brings you to Dragonspine. Albedo. It oh, was just you. So it was Albedo all along. Did he take Amber and Joe? All along. Oh, what do you mean by that? On the way here, we kept hearing weird noises, and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time. Turns out it was just you. Honestly, you really gave us the creeps. If you're bored up here, go find something useful to do. Don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people. Calm down, Paimon. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. Right. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. So, what business brought you here? It's a long we story. We actually came to look for you, but then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Actually, it's nothing serious. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Tameus' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? <sighs> stupidity. We're all probably overthinking it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. We told him about everything. Oh, I see. So, you foisted the rookie off onto Eula, so that you could wander off and, uh, goof around? We're not goofing around! And Eula was the right person for the job! We were just being nice. What about you then, huh? What are you doing on Dragon's Spine? 
Yeah, again. A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. Hmm. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. We just had this conversation the last time, right? About some st star silver. Or it can be used to make paint? Yes, but you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles, but they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. Paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting! So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paimo wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the traveler! Paimo oh. wants the traveler what? to learn how to paint! Why do you want me to learn? During our travels, you asked for it! Have nights where there's nothing to do! It sure be uh... nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. Painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. So you want me to learn to paint now? Yep. Really? Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Sounds great! What about Amber? Oh, she'll be fine. She is a no. nice after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albert. No! No, Amber! I wanna be with Amber! Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. Hyma wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. You stupid idea. You want to learn painting. You learn it yourself, man. Just like that stupid pizza idea.